New at 6, the Alton Police Department is getting its first facelift in more than eight years. CBS 4's Cindy Hernandez explains why officers will be rolling out a new look for their units. The next time you see an Alton police officer driving around town, you might notice a new look. In the past, Alton cop cars had stealth decals or ghost cars, making them hidden from the public. You wouldn't see the unit until it was either on you or it was reflect or lights were reflecting off of it. That was until Jonathan Flores, who became the new police chief one month ago, said no more. We wanted to ensure that our community knows that we're out here that we're serving them and, and that we're visible to them and also to deter criminal activity. Flores designed new decals and patches himself to symbolize the new changes and brotherhood that Alton police holds. But on top of the physical upgrades, Flores is also making sure his officers now do courtesy checks on residents and businesses. What we do, what we do is literally go to the businesses and we go out there and be proactive and see if they need anything from us. We're not waiting just for the cops to come in with an emergency. We're going out there getting feedback from the community. Rosa Elina Gonzalez is a manager at Amigo Rent to Own and had two officers stop by her business Thursday morning as part of that courtesy check. I think it's great because they're shaking out to see if, if we're doing fine. Um, it's perfect. I, I love it because there, it's something that we don't see it all the time. Sergeant Georgie Barra was one of the officers who stopped by and says these new changes are bringing back a positive atmosphere to the department. It's been a great experience. We're really enjoying it so far. It's just great to know that when you're coming to work, you're actually enjoying what you're doing and you've got great leadership now. You know, it's taking us in that direction, so it's been a good, it's been a good change. Chief Flores is also requiring his officers to have new trainings to make sure they have the latest techniques and tactics to keep their community safe. In Alton, with complete Valley coverage, Sydney Hernandez, CBS4 Valley, at 6. Chief Flores also created a squad room for officers to meet before and after every shift to discuss and log what happened throughout their workday. The new look costs $3,000 and is coming from the Alton Police budget.